Why does aortic stenosis cause GI bleeding? This is one of the most bizarre high yield mechanisms you need to know for USMLE. All right, so when you've got aortic stenosis, your aortic valve is narrowed. And when blood flows through that narrowed opening, it creates turbulent flow instead of smooth laminar flow. That turbulent flow generates massive shear stress that physically shreds one bilibrand factor, you know, the protein that helps platelets stick and form clots. So now you've got an acquired von Willebrand disease just from mechanical destruction of von Willebrand factor as blood rushes through that stenotic valve. If you can't form a stable platelet plug because of no von Willebrand factor, where's the problem gonna show up? Angiodysplasias, those fragile abnormal blood vessels in your colon and small bowel that are constantly trying to clot but can't because your von Willebrand factor is getting destroyed. So the patient develops chronic GI bleeding and iron deficiency anemia when they have aortic stenosis and here's what US family would want you to know about this. When you look at their peripheral smear, you're gonna see schistocytes, those fragmented red cells because the same turbulent flow that's shredding von Willebrand factor is also physically tearing RBCs. Some students see elderly patients with aortic stenosis stenosis and anemia and think it's just dietary. It's not dietary. It can be Hades syndrome, which is aortic stenosis causing GI bleeding. And the only way to fix it is to replace the valve, which eliminates the turbulent flow, normalizes the volume factor and stops the bleeding.